Hey guys, today I'm going to walk you through everything it takes to use your standard PS3 controller on your PC. It is commonly used to play console emulators, but has little to no limitations. To get started, let's go over everything we will need. We will need a program that can extract zip files, one 6-axis PS3 controller, one USB cord to connect the controller to the PC, and last but not least, we will need to download and install the Motion Enjoy program. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is head on over to the Motion Enjoy website and download the program. Click on the Downloads tab and we are going to download the latest version. For this video, we will be using 0.7.0. .0. Go ahead and click the download link and we are going to save this to our desktop. Once it is saved, right click on the file and select Extract here. Double click on the program and install it. Once it is finished installing, it will ask if you would like to run the software. Make sure the box is ticked and select Finish. The DS3 tool window now should be opened. Grab your PS3 controller and plug it into your computer with the USB cord that we grabbed earlier. Once you plug it into your computer, the computer should automatically download the needed drivers for this step. Now we need to load the drivers into the program. Start by clicking on the Driver Manager tab. Notice your PS3 hardware information at the bottom? Make sure the box is ticked and click Load Driver. You may get a warning message, just accept it and allow the driver to install. Oh, and don't freak out, the files are not harmful, they are just not recognized by Windows. Head on back to the Profiles tab on the DS3 tool window. You will notice that your DualShock 3 controller has now been connected. To do a quick test to make sure everything is functioning properly up to this point, select PlayStation 3 mode. Click Enable, and then click the Vibration Testing button. If the controller starts to vibrate, then everything should be good so far. From this point, we are going to make sure the controller is properly calibrated. Click the Game Controller panel, and then we are going to select Properties. Each button and movement should show a corresponding reaction. If not, select Settings and click the Calibrate button. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions until the controller is properly calibrated. The controller is now set up to be used as a basic joypad. To enable this in most emulators, you will need to configure it in one of the option menus. From there, you can select what each button on the controller will do. For a more advanced setup, you can create your own custom controller settings. On the Profiles tab, select Custom and then click the Create button. You should now see the Profile Editor. I won't go too much in detail on this video, but let's set up a basic mouse. For this, we are going to use left analog as our pointer. X will be used as our left click, and we can use circle as our right click. In the first column, you will see the name of each button on your controller. The device column will give you a list of the possible output methods, and in the object column, we will assign each button its role. Find the button labeled cross. For the device, select mouse. In the objects menu, select left button. Do the same for circle, but this time we are going to select right button. In order to move the mouse with the joystick, we need to find the buttons called left stick. Once again, the device will be mouse on all four left stick buttons. For left stick X positive, select axis right. For left X negative, select axis left. The Y axis is inverted, so for Y positive, we will choose down, and for Y negative, we will choose up. Make sure you save your changes, and if you have the custom mode enabled, you should be able to push your mouse aside and replace it with your PS3 controller. These are the basics to using a PS3 controller on your PC. The default mode should be accessible through almost all emulators you can download, but with a custom controller, you will find endless options. It may function as anything from a basic mouse and keyboard to being used to play an MMO. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Let me know which games you would like to see custom controllers for, and be sure to like the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching!